This mall is the mall that I grew up in and I ran around in and I got arrested in and I got sent home in by security my entire life. So it feels weird being back. up to the plate. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, stopped here at the Little Check Bakery, halfway on the way to Austin. We're getting ready to make our rounds around the state of Texas to show you guys what our own state has to offer. We normally travel outside the state, move around different cities, go different places, but this time we're about to show you guys what Texas is like. So, headed to Austin. This is the first place we're stopping at. We gotta grab some food. Check it out. Check stop. I've literally been going here since I was five years old, whenever I used to drive to my grandma's. So this is literally an iconic place. Of course, we got Baby J with us as well. For those of y'all who don't know, Baby J used to run the stores with me and Larry back in the day in Austin. So it was only right that we bring him on the trip to Austin so he can help show you guys around. So first, check stop. About to show y'all guys some of the best kolaches they have in the state. Let's go. I'm so ready for this. Fun fact, my grandpa is from Slovakia, and these are not real kolaches. These things keep flying up on you about every five seconds. Who Ian's flies? wondering why I'm taking them around the back way, because usually the line comes all the way to right here, and you gotta wait back here. We're on a we're midday, a little early. Right? Yeah. We're a little early today, so the line's not too crazy. Not only do they just have kolaches, but they got sandwiches inside of rolls, they have fresh baked sandwiches, they have fresh dips. Sandwiches inside of rolls? Yeah, like you can... Kolache? No, kolache is like you have these style. And then you also have like the ones with the sauces like inside of it. The best thing here in my opinion, my favorite thing is the, is the pepperoni, like pepperoni pizza one. Yeah, any of the kolaches with the meats are good. So they're gonna have like a burger one, a pepperoni one, a breakfast sandwich. They got bacon, egg, and cheese puff, which is all the sandwich inside of it. Country breakfast pocket with sausage gravy. There's nothing that I can eat here. Pepperoni's out? I can't have bread. I'll enjoy it for you. I got a couple of them, all right? Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. I'm gonna eat one for you, bro. You ordered a cinnamon roll. Me. Me, and what'd you get? Water. <laughs> He's already lost, how many pounds you lost, Ian? Sorry, right, 20, 24. 24 pounds. What are these things? That's me. All this? Yep. See? <laughs> well, Jordan over here getting food, I know he's not about to finish. I usually get the same thing, I switched it up. I 25 years, I've been eating some bullshit. Now you got a new favorite? This burger is honestly a solid eight and a half nine. Well. I saw a few new things in there. They have the grounded up sausage with jalapenos. I've never done that before. I got that one. This is one of the best features, is the fact that you don't have to drive. Yeah, it's pepperonis uh, hitting, bro. When you roll with us, you have to eat everything, especially if we're paying for it. So I need all that down and the city down. You don't just buy extra to save for later. I was trying new things like you guys wanted me to. Yeah, well, you better try a new thing and that's fitting all of it in your stomach. You wanted to get one of the same kolaches as me. You also have a kolache. <laughs> Bro, see, I got two desserts left, fam. I got two. <laughs> You got a whole pizza roll back here, bro. I'm doing this because Jordan never finishes his food, and I'm Scott, tired of it. I've been finishing all my food. I don't see <laughs> that. Bro, he literally just tried to hide a pizza roll in his armpit. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Damn, that shit look good, bro. Just tell him I finished it. The box is gone. Into the trash, because it's empty. Hey man, that's Larry's box. Sad day. That's Larry's box, bro. Baby J. You failed me. First stop in Round Rock, Texas Shoe Exchange. Gotta go see my boy Joe. Been knowing Joe for a long time now, all the way back whenever he was at Shoe Palace, and I used to wait in line to get sneakers over there when we used to run our shop in downtown Austin. Not to mention, Joe used to be a customer with Jordan, Larry, and I as well. The crazy part is, is a lot of these stores that we're going to right now were either sold as sneakers in the past or were regulars at our store and now our store owners themselves. So pretty excited to check it out. This is his second location. He just opened this one up in the outlets. Let's go see what he's got. Joe's not 
here right now, but he told me he has something special for me. Something that we talked about last sneaker con. So I'm gonna wait till his employees is done and see if Joe dropped that off for me. I'm praying that he did that. It's, I've been trying to get one of these for years. And so to have one in my size would be amazing. A couple episodes ago, we were just talking about the infrareds. These are super fire. Definitely a crazy color. So it looks like we got here is a whole Takashi Murakami thing going on. So you can see the Compass Con edition. It looks like he actually had them signed by Takashi himself. Along with one of the prints, it looks like it's 151 of 700. And then of course, the little figurines down below. And the COVID-19 logo. The used stuff is cool. It's different from us at the store, right? We don't sell you, so. You can find some good grails in there. I like that. Reds. Really good condition, honestly. Stars, everything on there. The light heel drag, 550, that's a good deal. Game Royals, where they got them at? 450, that's a good deal. Some Fire Reds, 180 for this. That's solid. Got the P-Rods for all the skaters out there. You just dropped the what those, but that's a tight one too. Something abstract, concept car, tight. All the way down to just a UNLV, let's see. 280? Ain't bad. Yeah, it's 11 and a half. Purple vision. Larry, <laughs> make, make it work. He saw him. These are tight. Size 12. It's 350. It's a really good price. It's used, but like taken care of like really, really nicely. For 550, which one would you take? I'd just buy both of them. <laughs> The problem I have with this is it's like a Grail OG. And I have the low version and I never even wear the lows. If I don't wear the low, then I definitely ain't gonna wear the highs no matter how much I want it. I don't worry about that much. Now. This is a little bit cheaper. I might consider it. It's a size 12. It's a Dornbacher 3. The kid's name is Cole that made this shoe. And if you look at it, all these little like hieroglyphs all say the, the name Cole. It's C-O-L-E, and it's Cole all over it. Hey, you hear that? It's dope. Hey, what did you just say? He's got those threes for you. He, uh, He's got those threes for me. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> A little bit of history right now. You guys have seen this one before, except I remember you guys, I told y'all I bought it off eBay for like 80 bucks. It was a size eight. It wasn't my size, but I needed it just so I could have one. Ran into Joe Senior Con. He told me he had a pair. He told me he got me. I think he said his brother might have worn them one time. So you can see like there's no, just a little bit of drag right here, but all the stars and all the toe box, the stars are still here. But the Third Coast Threes. Crazy part is that I was a part of this release with El Capi back in 2000 and I want to say 13 or 14, I can't remember. Like I told you on the other episode, these were once powder blues. So you can tell because of the powder blue on the bottom. The original stickers. That's the store that I used to run. I ran it for five years. And in my, into my second year, I hired Larry and uh, Jordan was already working with me. He's been working with me since day one. What are memories of the shoe binding, if you have any? What do you remember? Kill Kyle Young. Yeah, for me, it's Bumby and Killer Calion coming to, coming in to get the shoe to and trade the truth. And the Texas on the back, that's like the most iconic thing. Yeah. I remember him making them out of the clay or whatever he made. Yeah, them and then of. torching them on there. Yeah. Remember I was telling y'all that it was all powder blue whenever we first got it? That's what the shoe started at, and this is how it finished. So the, what reminded me was right the now when I seen the too. when I saw the bottom. So you can see this is the shoe that it was based out of. He in the bubble too. And right then you had to go and reverse the elephant print and then color everything black. Yeah. Was that even the same material? That was leather on that. It does. It's like suede it out though. He like polished it. He yeah, for sure sanded it down. Saying. It's the same thing. He it's just, just sanded down. Or maybe just the coat. Just the, the paint. Yeah. yeah. Just gave it a hard coat. Let's yeah. yeah. see if he answers. Let's show. Cappy, what's what up? up, man? Look what we got. Look what we got. Walk us through your thought process on this, bro. This is like a soft suede right here almost. How did you get it to feel like a finished leather on this side? Is that just because of the paint or did you do something to change it? Yeah, yeah, it's just like uh, suede is just unfinished leather, so it just took the paint really well and it turned into leather. Yeah, it looks super butter. That's great. All right, well, we yeah, appreciate man. you. Yeah, yeah, I like it, bro. 
Keep doing it, man. I like you guys. What you guys are doing? This is actually a grill. One box of I really do want. The Savarsky. Super fire. The cream box logo. Cross logo. It's perfect for my boy. Cream me up, Scotty. Appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, Let them know where to find you. What's up, guys? Do our Texas Shoe Exchange at that Round Rock Outlets. Texas Shoe Exchange on Instagram. Yes, sir. All right, man. Appreciate it, guys. Take it Later. Long story short, I'm proud of Joe. He's actually came a long way, just like Larry and I. So to go in here and actually see an array of collectibles and things dated back into the early 2000s, along with a nice shoe selection. They even have like the little moped, Supreme moped, a couple little items that I've never, you know, you don't typically see in every store, the cause, thousand percent. But overall, I did secure a super dope purchase, so I'm really happy about this right here. And overall, I think the store's got a great layout. I think he's really got some good stuff going on. I agree. He actually had a couple things in there that could have been a, a potential purchase for me in 10 and a half. However, I didn't cop because I knew it wasn't something that I needed, like that I would wear. But ultimately, great selection. Not the craziest selection of dunks, but I assume that all the good ones probably don't last very long in here. Um, but ultimately, you know, solid selection. I love seeing the thousand percent bare bricks. Having 400s is one thing, but when you walk into a spot with thousands, then you know they probably got something for you. Next is my boy Greg over at Kicking the ATX. And Greg is OG in this game. Second stop, domain of, of Austin. We're gonna go check out Kicking the ATX, my boy Greg. Greg is super OG. For those of y'all who don't know, me and Greg go way back to Nice Kicks days. Yes, Nice Kicks is known on the internet as the biggest sneaker blog, but they also have their own store here in Austin, and that's where it originated. So when I had our boutique, they had a tier zero account, so they'd get all the releases. I remember the Galaxy Phone Posits, yeah. people were waiting outside for like eight or nine days, all sorts of different sneakers. So I used to always go to Nice Kicks, and Greg would always hold me down. Fast forward 10, 11 years from now, Greg now got his own store. He's had it for about two or three years. Tier zero account, they get all the releases. So we're gonna go check it out. Hopefully we can find some stuff for the store. So one of the cool things about Greg is he literally has every Air Force known to mankind. In store? No, collection. Oh, collection. Okay. He did like, a, I think it was 30 days or maybe it was 90 days Air Force challenge. And he was oh, just busting every out day? crazy Air Forces. Like the St. Patrick's. Yeah. Like all the I don't old remember ones. how many days it was. I, I wish I, he was I here so I could ask him. I remember but let's just put it this way. way he has enough to wear a brand new Air Force at least for a year straight. That's sick. Yeah, my boy. Look at him. He's not good though. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this is hard. Ooh, look at these. Yeah, that one's nice. Rockets one. It's 1.8 though, it's not gonna fit me. Really, though. This fits me though. It's kind of hard. Yeah, we got a whole section for you, but uh, <laughs> of the market or carrots. Hmm. Carhartt with the carrots. Dang, Scott, how you skip this? The cash money hundreds. Look, I got all sizes. And it's on the 50 off rack? Mm -hmm. 50 off? 2X. I still wear That color doesn't clash well though. That one's tight. What about the thumb on the So if you can see right here, this is what we were speaking about in our last video where you can actually see the recycled material. You usually have those specs, all the different specs in there so that you know that they use recycled products to make it. The other thing that really usually stands out is you see all the swooshes in the circle. That's what tells you a lot of the time that they're used uh, or they're created, made by using recycled materials. So pretty cool. Save the planet. We got the sneakers busting out the Tesla truck. Shout out to my boy Ralph over there at Sneaker Summit. Do you mind letting him know where to find y'all? Uh, right here on Domain Drive, uh, 3200 Palmway, Suite 156. Appreciate yes, it, man. I'm Scotty, by the way. Yeah. Tell Greg I came by, man. Yes, sir. He's a good friend of mine. First and foremost, 
The layout was dope. The floor is really nice. That the was it for me. The floor. Yeah, the floor. <laughs> the brand selection was good. I didn't know that Greg. I didn't know you were carrying Chinatown and felt and carrots. The hundreds. And the hundreds and a lot of these other name brands that you see all over the place. I'm really excited to see those brands with the sneakers all in one room, similar to how we do our store, except for they are an actual tier account and rear resale store mixed with the clothes. So as far as the clothes mixed with the shoes and the selection you chose, A1, man, A1. Customer service was good as well, and the layout was really dope. I thought it was dope. I think it's a super dope store. Just ultimately, like you said, layout, everything is very, very clean. Congrats, it, man. It was definitely a dope spot. And I got too. a dope little hat, too. We always got to show off what we got. Boop. Skirt. I feel like this goes. I've been wearing a lot of tan tonal ways, so I'm gonna rock it with it. Combo. You know, yep. my little bean head ain't fitting in no fitted. <laughs> when I was a kid, I got banned from this mall, but the places that they banned me from was anything that had carpet. So this used to all be carpet, and down below was all carpet, and that was considered like the movie theater side. And one of the reasons why is because they caught us. We'd go up this ramp and there would be a ticket lady over there and we would walk along the side of the wall while she's at the ticket stand and just walk behind her and then just go into the movie theaters and they caught us and then they called my dad. Dad came down here, they threw me in this like little cell. Oh, and and my dad had to come to security, side, yeah. like held my dad while my dad came and when my dad came. Got watch on YouTube. What's up? Yeah, 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 right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, we decided to do one here now in Austin. Yeah, you're about to be in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah so we're gonna uh, check out Premier Pass, or Premier Pass. Premier's on their one year anniversary. Nice, yeah, Zoe's a good friend of ours, so we figured we'd go show. Show some love and highlight the store and whatnot, and then go to Dirty Kicks at Barton. Yeah. Round Rock Outlet Mall is uh, Texas Yeah, that's Shoes where we went first. So we went and saw Joe's spot first. Y'all are on, my, on a list, to, a bucket list to check out when I go up to Dallas. Perfect, hell yeah, I love to hear it. Oh, nice. Good, 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 good. So, cool. This spot right here used to be fast forward. They got bought out by Zoomies. Yeah, I'm about to get a margarita flight. Hey, yeah, Jay Martha, that's where I used to get all my blank decks. Before Zoomies, we would maybe before build Zoomies all bought them out, bro. bro. Seriously, I bought so many skateboards, a um, bunch of clothes, all that stuff. Fast forward for life. We are here at the Lake Line Mall in Austin, Texas, and we're here to visit an old friend. Got a buddy named Tigazo that we've been rocking with for probably almost a decade now. Almost a decade. Um, buying and selling shoes with him throughout the years. Now he has his own store, we have ours. It's only right that we come in here, show some love, see what he's got in 10 and a half. He Let's go. Our, uh, he bought our oh, key master. Yeah, and right. when you yeah, see the key master machine in here, know that it used to be ours. And not to mention, this mall is the mall that I grew up in and I ran around in and I got arrested in and I got sent home in by security my entire life. So it feels weird being back. You're not even allowed to be in here, bro. Technically not allowed to be anywhere that's carpet. <laughs> and so, man, yes, I was. You have been permanently Burn. I really was they, permanently banned. Luckily, they there. swapped it all out to tile, so you're good. Yeah, this is so weird. This mall actually used to run this pack sun right before I got into the boutique life. So that was one of my first shows. Actually. So what's up? What up, what up, what up? Hey, is this for us? <laughs> Let's go. Hey, one year. Huh? You want you? Yeah, that was like last week. Last week? Is that what that, yeah. That's all yeah, for Yeah, that's all for us. Yeah, that's all for us. What's up, bro? My guy, Larry, man. What's up, bro? How are you, my man? Hey, man. Oh, welcome to Premier Pa, Austin, Texas. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of fucking shoes. Wow. We got a lot of shoes. Hell is like, hell is yeah. This is cool. I like this. Well, like, they say, yeah, girl section with a nice color. Sneaker. This is tight. Yeah, this is tight. That's a good idea. I like that. So, I will say, as far as each style of sneaker, this store probably has the most amount of pairs that I'm seeing. Um, as far as sizes, quantities, you can see they have, you know, one of every size out. Shaq's grabbing that one. It very much reminds me of the way we have our store laid out. Um, but for sure, like just sheer quantity, I mean, you can see, like, look at each side, just the amount of sneakers here. This probably has one of the best or better selections of all the stores that we've been to as far as quantities of pairs and, and different types of pairs. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. Nah, I love hard. Song. I love song. hard. 
Man, I, I love this shoe. What do you guys got it at? What do you got it at? Uh, I, I didn't even put a no, price yeah. on them. It's, I didn't know. That's how price. that's how we do it. Like a lot of the expensive shoes is like okay, yeah. when someone's wait ready. Till yeah, offer. wait till the offer. We kind of talk yeah. about it. I'm like, whenever I get married, I will wear them. <laughs> and then I'm like, nah, I'm gonna wear it on my birthday. <laughs> and then, you're like, and then uh, still like be bad and wear So, what's your dog's name? For me. Premier. That's why Premier. we were talking oh, we were about talking about Premier, yeah, 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 the dogs. Hey, what's up, Premier? <laughs> hey. Hey. Premier. What's up? What you doing? What you Say doing? what's up. Say what's up. Say what's up. <laughs> I love this shoe. I just I just bought a bunch more of these. Otherwise, I'd probably want this 13. It's my personal size. I just had the craziest moment right now. I have these, right? You guys remember the Houston video? These are the Dornbacher SBs, yeah. right? Right. Do you guys know what I just realized right now? That was the first time I worn them and the last time I worn them. You wanna know what the craziest shit is ever that I just realized about this shoe? What's the guy's name that made this shoe? Joey. I literally have a pair of Joey's, bro, and I didn't even know it. Wow. I got the Uncle Joey's, bro. Joey like chicken? Yeah, Joey like chicken, bro. I gotta put- Is that what that is? Yeah. Yeah. I need to start rocking the Joey's more often, bro. After that Houston trip, I have no idea where I put it, but I need to bust the Uncle Joey's out way more often. Super good selection, first off. All the accessories, Supreme. Display is super tight, also. A little bit more, a couple more. But that's the yeah, bait just, pieces, the mask, mask, small mask. I missed that. I wish I had that. Gotta be a reason. Yeah. Go. Aesthetic, very pleasing. I love that. Is this the only key master? Yeah, that's Maybe. Maybe. This, came, this, came, this came from our store. <laughs> this came from our store. You wanna know why? Because I almost died whenever this almost fell on me in oh, oh, uh, putting it onto the H1, but we saved it. Oh, man. Remember how we talked about at SneakerCon? Remember the Impossible Kicks? that I said I bought the Keymaster from? We bought it from him, which came to us, which is now here. Did you imagine that hit? I feel like Shadow 2.0 is the wave, though. All right, bless it real quick, bro. I guess the size 19. Nah, you can't guess. Yeah, it's 18. Nah, you can. I know it's 17 or 18. I can see it. I can see it. 17 or 18. Larry, guess. 18. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's from, yeah, it's a size. That would have been my guess anyway. I've seen enough of these big ass Jordan. Yeah, yeah. This is my first rodeo. 16? Yeah, yeah. 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 No. Uh, <laughs> Bigger? You should have said. No, okay. Should... It's 15 then. It's 15 then. Yeah, it's 15. 15, y'all. <laughs> As collections, I have all of the Jordan and SB collab shoes. This high here was the only one I was missing, except for what's you might not Lance, have like Lance Mountain. Lance Mountain. Yeah. That's the only other one that I'm missing as far as SBs. So the lows I have covered, it was just the highs that I need. I got one. I'll find that Lance Mountain eventually, and you'll see me buy it. If anybody has a Lance Mountain, either the black or the white, those are the only Jordan SBs that I don't have now. So. Yeah. 10 and a half or 11. I'll take the 11. All right. Thanks, Had to come pull up, shop with the kids. Yes, sir. Know what it is. Appreciate oh, you, man. Let me say something real quick. My man's used to be the king of all the kicks. Before he had a store, this fool would walk around with duffel bags filled with all the Air Yeezys. Red October. All, he had everything. I still remember he his had sneakers. Sneakers. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he, would, he would have his own booth and he would just shit on people. He yeah, didn't even sell anything. It would just be like <laughs> everything <laughs> piled up. Yeah, and he would sit there like this all day, just stunned. Yep. And he was a regular at the store with us. So it's like, and then on top of that, Africa. And so it's like, I've seen him have his own brand, had the biggest shoe collection in Austin. Austin, and now he's got his own store and it's only right that you have your own store man It makes complete sense watching the journey from where you were to where you are now is lovely coming in here and seeing you just Kill it with the wide selection of everything the wide selection of shoes I've never seen this many shoes on a shelf period in my entire life out of all the stores you've been to you know, like you go to Flight Club and stuff like that, but you have the one-offs. Here, you have size ones, just like at our store. And we take pride in that because people want to come in and 
like a shoe and know that the possibility of it being on the yeah. shelf to go is yeah. high. And One nine it. and a half. It's, it's like, 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 hey, do you have this? And like, oh, that's the last size. And yep. So it's, it's just kind of like, you know, one of those situations where you just get let down a lot. And here, at least you can visualize, see what you, possibilities, and then, you know, know that you're going to leave with something. Yep. But at the end of the day, where can they find you, man? Show them where they can find you. Boom. Premier Pa on Instagram, the Premier Pa. We just launched our website. Y'all can check it out. Check us out. We have a large selection. Shout out to my guy right there. <laughs> Where can they find both of you on Instagram? Uh, mine is Tyzo, T Y Z O underscore. Um, Dreams.vi. Dreams. So just dreams.vi. This is our manager, Jalen. There it is. What's up, yeah. job, man? What's up, what's up, man? That's all you gotta say. What's up? What's up? Shout out to me, Paul. You know, I appreciate everything, big dog. Yeah, it was only right. Boy, yeah, of course. Right. Appreciate, right. you, man. appreciate you guys coming yeah. through. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take it easy, man. What was this? Our third stop. Yeah, third third stop, stop. Lakeline Mall. Scotty's still banned from here, but they let him in anyways. We went to Tiger Zoe's store. Super dope. It was everything we expected from him. This kid's been on top of his game for the last decade, so everything that we saw it goes perfectly in line with what we, what you could expect from someone like that so shout out to these guys super dope store the selection the accessories the women's section Just everything every every little thing that they did that was detail. that was a cool store the sneaker I like that. section and like i found this, something yeah. so aesthetic was there yeah aesthetic, aesthetic was nice. definitely there and they had some dope bear breaks and a couple little supreme pieces i've never seen Cosby, before yeah. soriyama soriyama yeah soriyama yeah. bear breaks yeah. and whatnot so, so definitely yeah. definitely doing your job though super proud you big dog keep going next keep we gotta going. go next we gotta go to dirty kicks and holler at my boy shy over there at barton creek mall I mean, we're pulling up to our boy shy's uh spot called dirty kicks it's actually a familiar face you guys have seen him on the vlog a couple times uh, i feel like we run into him at almost every event we go to so now that we're back in the city about to pull up on him and see what he's got going on in here he so, was telling me he just copped some really dope shoes and he wanted to show us so yeah i'm expecting this is. spot to be on point. This kid runs around copping shoes like a madman. I know he's gonna have some. Not just copping shoes. He drops bags, six yeah. figures on yeah. usually a lot of his buyouts. So he's familiar. He's been knowing about sneakers since he was a young. And, all right. Well, here we are, Dirty Kicks. Let's go check it out. Come on. What an intro. Here we are, Dirty Kicks, ATX. Let's go. got a mixture of new and used. He was always big on, on used shoes, so maybe I'll be able to find some sort of heat here in, in the used section. And he's got them all separated by size, which I like a lot. I like when the eights and the nines are together, the nines and the tens or whatever are all kind of grouped together. I think it's a lot easier to find the sneaker as well. The spot's cool here at the Barton Creek Square Mall. You see the setup. Definitely a different array of things that we've seen today. So I was pretty confident that he was going to have a good selection. And so far, so good. Like he has a, he has a pretty solid arrangement of things. He has this in my size though. What's the ticket? 23? The, the diamond? Oh, I think it's like an eight and a half, maybe not. Oh, okay. That's pretty easy. I'm just supposed to 10. That check is just banged up though. Only 800. Yo, Ian. Yes, sir. 800. For my size. It's not bad. It's not bad. Let me see. I think I need it. Check's a little beat. But overall, there's no insole. It's getting a little hard. So it's gonna be cracking. Straight to feet. Yeah. It's not soon, but it will be cracking in a few years, that's for it's sure. Ins no insoles. No insoles. Mm. It doesn't say it did. It's a large. I'm about to old. Silver on silver? Bro, that's old, old. Cram, right? Hey, let's ask them. Like, they got the holes on this thing, no string. Late. I know I am, I know I am. How you doing, how you doing? Question. What up, what up? What up? This has no price on it. How much is this? This one's six fifty. What year is what this? Up? That is Ooh. Do you know? Oh, 2008, I think. I kept that one for me for a minute. Oh. And I was like, you know what? I'm never gonna get to wear it. Yeah, I'm not a great shit. person. I'm not a great person. You said you were selling your collection and I hit you up immediately and then Dude. you ghosted me. Dude, I only sold my doubles. You you have everything. No, I, I don't. But I do want that want. diamond low. It's at eight. Is that a final? 
Nah, we'll work some out. I got you. I got you. Come on. Oh, yeah, this one. I don't own a pair. I'm just I'm scared lunch. that it's hardening, so I'm afraid it's only going to get like a couple years out of it. But I don't know. The only thing I'm worried about is just this check all worn off a little bit. I don't know. This one I'd hit up. There's someone in San Antonio that like does really good work. He replaces the checks and stuff. He make it look really, really clean. Really, really I've been nice. looking them up lately, and they usually like eight's a good price. I was just wondering, is there any way you could do anything better? What are you thinking? I don't know. Damn, I just realized this is busted. I can get that started. What do you think? It's talking. I don't know. I know bargain. I'm at the bargain. Dude, you bargain with me. I mean, what you pay for it? <laughs> no way, at least I, I have don't. no idea. You don't know what you pay? I can look it up. I paid a whopping price of six twenty-five. Okay, what's this? Oh, what's this? this? What's this? Oh, is that? I want to show you this is this what you told me to show me? Yeah, okay, I want to show cool. you this one. You paid a really good price for those. Yeah. Did you get those at a show or what? Uh, no, I got these from someone here, I think. Nosh. He came and just unloaded a bunch of stuff on me. He was one of them that he was like. Seven cool? Yeah. Cash? Yeah. Cash. Yeah. You gotta take care of them, man. You gotta fix them up. So I got a guy in Boston, uh, Lara Merchi. He will restore the whole shoe for me. He's doing my threes right now. Are right, you guys ready? My boy has something he wants to show us. One of my boys hit me up and he was like, yo, I, have, I want you to come through. I need a huge amount of money. I was like, all right, cool. We didn't get to the dollar we wanted, right? He wanted, you know, he wanted that, that nice six figure, right? It's we one of those things he like, probably he just doesn't want to let go unless it's uh, of the right price. Exactly. So anyways, this is oh, the last man. thing he came to me with. I've never even held one of those in hand, so. Hey, today's your time, excited. man. Yeah, Come on, grab it. Up. <laughs> Dead sock? Nah, it's worn one time, so you know what that means. That means I can wear it too. Yeah, <laughs> it's got a slight crease to it. Nothing crazy. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Still got all the stars yeah, on the hard. toe, barely just a few on the back. My, yeah. my red lobster is one of my favorite. Yeah, I mean, this is we've got a lot of lobster colors on our show. Yeah, yeah. we've yeah, seen a lot like, of lobsters. Yeah, we had what green, purple at Sneak Con. I had the red, and then we saw blue. The only one that I'm missing is the green. Green. I don't know why I don't have a green. Yeah. That's the only one I'm missing. Oh, and y'all got a green nine and a half. Bring him out. Yeah, I need one. Green, green, green. More recent release too, right? Yeah, green. I think green's yeah. the most you got, recent. You got all the hard ones. I got everything I needed. Yeah. You got all the hard I bought. Ones. I bought the red and the blue off of StockX for. I think I bought the blue for like two twenty off StockX like four years ago. I was about to say I got my red from like a homie. I don't even remember. It was like about the same four or five years ago. I think I paid like three hundred something bucks, but it was before SBs kind of took back off, right? Yeah, thankfully I still, I still, mine still DS. The yeah. blue and the red. My red is so, DS, so I can wear it. I wear it at least, you know what I mean? I know it's one of those shoes. Like when I was a kid, you know, like yeah. it was like this, the Air Mag, like you know, the Red October. Yeah, the grail. You know, yeah, like this was yeah. in one of mine, so I was like, you know what, I gotta grab yeah, this. I just got my kicks. For those of y'all that don't know, these are the Diamond Dunks. My boy secured the bag for me. I appreciate yes, that. You already know it's right to pull up. It's my boy Stuart. Let me know where to find you. Yes, sir. So we're located in Austin, Texas, Barton Creek Mall. Our Instagram is Dirty Kicks with three S's. And you're always buying, right? I'm always buying every so single day of the y'all week. Y'all don't hesitate to DM him. He's always buying new yes, and used, right? New and used. We carry brand yeah, new. We carry man. used everything. We buy every single day. Oh, yeah. I appreciate it, family. <laughs> yes, sir, man. Yes, Thank sir. you. Yeah, of course. That's my dog, man. That's my little homie. All of these guys are my little homies, man. I really fuck with all of them. So we just checked out Dirty Kicks. I'm super happy because I love going to a store that has new and used. I like to buy things used. I personally look for certain items that most stores don't typically have, but used stores always typically have the old Dunks and the Jordans and the Bogos and the things that I'm technically looking for. In this sense they did, I got my Diamond SBs, so I'm super excited about it. Plus, I got to catch up with a homie and see exactly what he's got going on, which who I'm super proud of for everything that he's done in this store, because it looks super great. So, I mean, I'm happy. Yeah. All right, next stop is our boy Christian over at Hype Appeal, and he's got the biggest selection of vape that I know from anybody, so I'm excited. We gotta get all of them, because I'm telling you, they have hometown heroes in here, and they have 
autographs in here. You basically can get autographs in here, you can't get autographs there. Alright. Okay. Well, while we're killing time, yeah. maybe we can Let's pull some up packs, on, bro. on some packs. Did you guys know there's <laughs> did you guys know they're on now 81? 81. Wow, I remember when they were on like 12. 80. Didn't they do like one a year, bro? It's been 80 years since they were down there. 80 years. <laughs> what are the songs on there? Alright, yeah, who's in here? Number one is Lil Nas X and Jack Harlow Industry, Industry baby. baby. Lost. Uh, Doja Cat, Need to Know. Ed Sheeran, Bad Habits, Kid Laura and Justin Bieber, Stay. That's tight. That's a good one. Coldplay Yo, and BTS. The album. Didn't even know they had a song together. That's right here. Donda. It's just black covered nothing. Your Donda album. <laughs> what? It's Kanye West! <laughs> it's Kanye West! <laughs> no, they didn't butcher him like that. Tell Target I need answers. 85. How much are those damn things? Don't worry about it, bro. We're getting all of them. 15, 16 a piece. Yeah, something like that. You ever had to supercharge for 30 minutes? We're busting packs. Walk into Target, get a pack. We're looking for red autos. We're busting peas. We're busting peas in the Tesla right now. No, are we going to do it right here? If it says rookie card, put it right here in the little pot. We're looking for Anthony Edwards and Lamelo. Lamelo. You got one? Yeah. All right. What's it look like? Yeah, that's tight. That's a good one. Damn, what about this? this is this a good one? Green. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's dope. That's, that's dope. The that's actually really good. That's the, the, one. the green mellow ball luminance. That's nice. The mellow ball. Oh, another one. You guys have got hot packs. Hot packs. Uh oh. Lamello? Lamello? Rookie Lamello. Oh, that's a nice one. Hey, hey. Hey. Well, you do it now? Hey. There it is, another one. You got the green. This is the regular. So which one? Mine's better? Yours is better. Well, okay. we didn't get the auto, but we got some nice Lamellos. So, you know, we can't hate on that. We'll keep this one pack with all the good ones. All right, it's time to go check out Hype Appeal and my boy Christian. Oh, last stop. Yeah. We'll to to stop. Let's go. Last stop, my boy Christian. I've known this guy since our old boutique. He used to come check it out with us. He's also really known for a lot of bait and a lot of cool accessories. So I'm really excited to see what he has here. Plus, I haven't been here since he added a couple more walls for the sneakers. So I'm really excited to see what he's got. You guys ready? Let's go. Right, boom. Oh, what's up, dog? What's up, dog? Oh, oh, you too? What up, homie? Austin, Austin's a dog city, man. What's up, pup? So, BSOP, Cognac, Hennessy always teams up with like select artists to design different bottles as like their special editions. And if you guys know those double X's, then you exactly know who this is. This is the cause edition. Came in a big and a small. He's got the small one too. Like I was telling y'all, he's probably got a bunch of cool accessories when we come in here. And as you can turn around and look, there's a lot of different things in here. Like even this one that they gave out uh, at the Houston game, the bobblehead for Travis. You had to be at that Houston game, if I'm not mistaken, to get that bobblehead. Okay, so I'm an exception. <laughs> but for those of y'all that don't know, dead stock? No? Nope. Worn a little bit. Slightly worn. Sick. Oops. Sick. 1,000% what all fucking day. I, want to wear it. I never worn it. No, I bought it worn for like 1300 at a sneaker con that was Wow, uh, how long ago was that? Like Had to have been a minute. Yeah, yeah. 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 These things go for like five racks now. Uh, that was a good Maybe more than that shit. That was a good investment right? piece. Check these out. Look at this shit. Oh wow, sneaker box drop boxes. That's fucking sick. Oh, the inside too. Yeah. 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 All right, I might need it. I like this song too. I'll take his, his ball. He's just get you. He gets mad? Yeah, he'll give me. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, he's quick, bro. <laughs> he's not quick, he's slipping around. Nah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That one's gonna use more. Like, yeah. Okay. Had to do it. Yeah. Yeah, or any any of them in XL. Yeah, I might do 
Yep, looks like a headache. Looks like something Michael's really excited about. Oh, this is the little shield right there. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Can you take a picture of this? <laughs> got my human made hat. Uh, what's Scott get a shirt? Scott got the Brooklyn Museum cause tee when we went to the Brooklyn Museum. They were our, the shirts were already gone, so he was able to snatch one up here. Thank you, my man. Always Appreciate a pleasure. Yeah. Like yes, sir. Let him know where we can find you. Yeah, you come check us out on Instagram at Hype Appeal or at 22 South Lamar. Uh, and located here in Austin, Texas. Appreciate my dog. Yeah, for sure. Yes, Appreciate sir. you coming through. Yeah, always. Appreciate the love. That was it for Hype Appeal. Definitely one of the cooler spots here in Austin. Please come by and stop by. Say what's up to our boy Christian. He will absolutely make sure you're taken care of. Crazy bait selection. The shoes in here were dope. Bear bricks, all kinds of accessories. Super cool spot here on South Lamar. This whole area is actually very, very cool if you're, if you're familiar with it. That's about it. We got one more spot to show you guys. One of our favorites, a spot that we used to go all the time while we lived here. So we're gonna hit this last spot. We'll see you guys in a few. All right, last but not least, it's only right that we leave with a feast. Triple Eight is the place to be with the best Vietnamese. Ooh, bars. We're going to Pound Town. <laughs> All right, Scott, what'd you get, bro? The ribby? Short rib, and it's amazing. You got this little, little chicken spring roll and a little peanut sauce flip. I'm gonna hit it with a uh, flip. Pineapple fried rice. Me and Larry's favorite for years. We're about to shut it down. Uh, we're gonna split this bad boy right down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Dessert rice with mango. With mango. With mango. <laughs> it's actually delicious. It's really good. What is the ethnicity of this restaurant? Okay, so I want to say it's Thai. So it must be Vietnamese. Might must do the sticky rice, the regular one, and then. And when if you go to a Thai spot, they do the purple one. Purple cigarettes. Is it, is it mint? Bro. All I'm saying is this was alive a second ago because this is very alive. <laughs> it's very fresh. This is very fresh alive. out the garden. This is not from a garden, it's from the oak tree out back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, that was it. My stomach is full. Now we got a three hour drive home, but it was worth it. It was cool to come back to the hometown for a day. I know these guys were happy to see their city again. And so that was it for Austin. We are going to continue this Texas tour. I'm not going to tell you where we're going next, but you'll find out soon enough. Here's a clue.